So every time I get a new setup, I always come back to this map here, the Mega Scans Goddess Temple. Now, as you all know, I have a two PC setup now, one with the RTX 3090 and one with the 3060 recording the video. So I'm curious to see if I can squeeze out more frame rates here uh, using this setup. And additionally, I'm going to be doing this with DLSS as well to compare the two. Now, I'm pretty excited because I'm probably going to keep coming back to this map because if you want to test out your GPU or your hardware, download this map here. It's going to be under the free Mega Scans. It's called the Goddess Temple that came out last year, but it's still it still holds its weight. It still looks pretty amazing, okay? So I have it opened here, and the way this is set up is they have some pre-made sequences that we're going to be taking a look at. I'm going to press escape here. So we're not selecting anything. Uh, I do have GPU Z here, so you can see how hard the GPU is running. Uh, the RTX 3090 Founders Edition here, and I also turned on the Show FPS, so you can see it here on the right side. Now, before when I tested this map on my GTX 1080 Ti and then my RTX 3090 in October when I first got it, I was running it in a small window. I didn't put it in full screen. So hopefully this time around with DLSS on, that we can get a better frame rate so I'm gonna have it off to start off with and we have the se first sequence here so we're just gonna play it all right press play and then f11 all right I'm gonna pause that and I'm gonna rewind it so I was kind of screwing it up so we got 22 24 right now let's press play all right so without DLSS full screen at 4k the window here is 3840 by 2160. I changed it in the project settings. I'm getting around 21 to 22 FPS. All right. Now, this map here is not meant for a video game. This is meant for a sequencer, cinematic sequencer, like I'm showing you guys right now. So more like for a movie, right? So you're going to see a lot of white stuff area, gray areas. That's because this is not for video games. Press 11. To get out of that so we're getting 21 22 let's turn on dlss ultra performance first and then we'll go for quality after so I'll press play f11 oh shoot f11 and then i'm going to rewind right here and then press play and this is ultra performance now so we were getting 22-ish without DLSS on, but now with the ultra performance, it almost doubled. Actually, it did double. 42, 43, 45 there. Now it doubled because we were getting 22-ish without DLSS on. And as you can see, the GPU load also decreased. I'm at only 77 now rather than 100 with it off. So it's actually helping out the card a little bit with the DLSS on. Let's take a look at the quality now. All right, so 22 without, 44 for ultra performance. Let's see what quality looks like. Press one, press play, F11. I'm gonna pause it again and we're gonna rewind. Here we go. Again, around 33, 31, 32. So 10 more frames than without DLSS. So I got back 10 frames by having it set to quality DLSS on. Yeah, roughly 10 frames. 36, 37, and then 40 towards the end. So 22, yeah, about 10 frames I got when setting it to DLSS settings quality. All right, so let's go with performance now. Now we're gonna take a look at the middle. Rewind it here and then press play. It's just so nice that we're given that many options for DLSS. You know, it's not just good and bad. There's a gradual scale for it, which is nice. So right now I'm getting 44, 45, and this is right in the middle. And it looks great, I think. I mean, untrained high, I can't tell the difference with it on and quality. I mean, ultra performance. Set to ultra performance, you can see the difference a little bit uh, as far as the quality of the textures and so on and the scene. But in the middle, 
say performance to quality, I honestly can't. All right, so let's take a look at, there's another sequence here that I always go to, and it's the candles. This is really pretty. Got to collect the camera first. Oopsies. One, press play, F11, pause, rewind, and then play. So this is without DLSS on, again, 31. 3031. Yeah, right there. That looks awesome. Now let's go to DLSS Ultra Performance. So we're getting 3132. Now we're getting like, I don't know, it just tripled. 99. But like I said, you can tell that the quality took a hit just a little bit. But 100 frames per second from 30s, that's, that's bananas. So if you're, if you're like a gamer who don't really care about quality, man, the TLSS is for you. Um, let's go to quality now. We'll go to the other end of the spectrum here. And then press play. Now I'm getting 55, so around 20 more frames than without with quality on. And like I said, this quality setting looks really good. I mean, to me, I can't even tell the difference between this DLSS on and without DLSS on. I just see the frame rate pretty much doubled. All right, let's go to performance, which is the middle, and rewind. Press play. Now, I tried packaging the scene, but I was having issues. I couldn't package the scene. I kept getting an error, but I bet we can probably even get more FPS if we do it that way. And now, right in the middle... We're getting about 75 frames per second. And like I said, that middle to the right looks pretty darn good. These last three, depending on the scene, to me at least. And then there's one more. One, there's another one I want to take a look at. Yeah, it's this one. So let's take a look at this one. Press play, F11, pause, rewind, and let's turn off the LSS. And see how much we're getting here. All right, press play. 25, 25 frames, roughly 40 ms. Uh, 23 dipping there. At 23, 24. Okay. Let's turn on ultra performance now, and then rewind and press play. Now we're getting around 72, 73. Pretty, pretty amazing. And like I said, the GPU load you can see here on the right calms down a little bit. So 75 performance wise, DLSS wise. Now let's go with quality. Press play. Roughly maybe 10 frames? more i think it was a 24 before not 20 frames 19 18 20 frames that you got back by going to quality yeah 43 about 20 frames and let's go with performance press play again about 60. that looks pretty darn good that middle tier Looks pretty good. And what we'll do is just walk around this map now. Because it is really nice. We'll leave it to... We'll turn it off. And let's get out of this viewport. I'm going to press G to hide all that. And I'm going to make this bigger. Um, what happened to my FPS though? It's disappeared. There you go. Make my camera... So yeah, I'm getting like 27 right there. This is just me moving around the map. It's funny because with a GTX 1080 Ti, I barely got this map to open. It was is this cra it, it was that crazy. So, ultra performance. Okay, now we're getting about 49.50. Oh, 
I love these candles. They look so cool. Look at these. And like I said, you can really tell with the ultra performance setting. Okay, let's go to quality. There you go. Again, about 46, but it still looks looks good. 40-ish. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you guys some benchmark. I know you guys really loving these RTX 3090 environment videos. I guess people are really researching this graphics card, but I can tell you right now, it was worth smashing that add to cart button on the Best Buy app. This this card is pretty darn wonderful. So you want to learn how to use the meta humans inside Unreal Engine 4 and you want to create a movie with it. Well, I just made a part two of my how to create a movie inside Unreal Engine 4, the meta humans edition. I'm also going to show you how to set up a live link face for the meta human, combine all that animation, set up lighting, import mega scan assets, and then exporting. I mean, in an hour, it's, it's freaking insane how much I packed in this one hour course. What's up guys, so in this video we're going to be taking a look on how you can make a CG animation movie using the meta humans. 